Hey everyone, welcome to Bug Smashers. Hope you guys enjoyed CitizenCon. I know I did. It was fun meeting and greeting you guys, and I can't wait to do it again. Uh, today we got a special bug for you today. It was a little bug we had to deal with before showing you guys that demo, so let's take a look. Bug Smashers! Hey everyone, we're here in this fancy level. Look how wonderful it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, but we have here a rover. And in case you guys didn't see the demo, uh, you basically would fly in the constellation, land down, go in the rover, then head out into the oblivion. And sometime later, you would actually get ambushed and your front wheel would just pop off from an explosion. Boom. Then you get out and shoot all the baddies. Uh, so it actually didn't look like that the very first time designers set it up. In fact, it looked quite, quite strange. And I have here the test conditions of what it looked like. So let's see what happens when the explosion happens and then the front wheel is supposed to fall off. So let me hit the magical button. Boom! Not quite what the designers had in mind. Uh, I don't think they expected <laughs> the tire to float off into oblivion. Um, kind of magical, but not what we wanted. Uh, lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, let's jump in the code and see what's happening. So here, we're into the magical bits of code. Uh, we're in this thing called Vehicle Part Base. It's basically the, sub, or the common code that all of our parts have. If you have a wheel, if you have a wing, if you have a cockpit, all the part code that's common with those things are in here. And this specific section of code handles when a part gets attached. We could have multiple parts get attached and we stick them onto a debris piece and they're supposed to bounce around, tumble, all which way. And this particular bit of code will handle um, offsets. So if we have two different debris pieces, they kind of get into a, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and they're center here so that they tumble correctly. Or if you have one, it sticks at the origin like a tire, so it's supposed to fluidly wobble as it should. Um, but once we get past that part, um, we basically physicalize those pieces onto a specific slot on that entity. And when it gets to this part, it actually goes through the entity, goes through the physical proxy, which is like our game code handler for the physics. It's one step before our physics engine. And inside of here, woo, this update slot geometry, you're supposed to send it a mass. Otherwise, it tries to compute it based on properties set inside like max. Uh, these things are actually supposed to be automatically computed. Um, they actually are in other sections of code, but this particular area where you're actually modifying or updating, if you don't already have mass defined, it tries to get it from the property set in max, uh, which is a problem because we want these things to be dynamically determined. Now, we already have that mass that determine what that like wheel is supposed to be. So rather at determining what it should be when we already know what it is, Let's just pass that mass in. We'll have to change the interface a little bit so that we can add a mass. We'll make the default negative one so it acts like it should in other situations or what it was in other situations. So once we add the mass through the interface, we want to send it to the physics proxy. And hopefully with that said and done, we should see our wheel kind of tumble. I know, I know it folding off into the oblivion was nice, but Designers don't like that very much. All right, we hit recode. Let's give it a wait and see what happens. All right, so we hit recode. Let's see what happens when the tire falls off. Ha ha, it acts like it should. Woo, physics. Can move it around and everything. Yeah, tire physics. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that fun bug. So as you guys saw, we had a little case of the, uh, the wheel floating away into oblivion. Not quite what the designers wanted, but it was kind of cool. Um, you know, the same kind of thing you guys were seeing in the current build where you blow up a ship and then some debris kind of like act strange or they stay still. It was just because they were getting no mass. Um, it was an easy fix. So hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys see that those floating debris are gone. Till next time.
Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.